This video goes over some problems from lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, use the store function to evaluate the following expressions for x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to negative 7. Do not round. So there's two ways that we can store these values into our variables. We can do them separately, which I'll show you right now. So 3 and 4 my x, so I hit 3, the STO, the STO button into my x, hit enter, and the calculator shows you 3 has been stored there. And then we have 2 in for my y, so hit 2, store, and I need to hit alpha, and the button for y is alpha 1, hit enter, and 2 has been stored into my y, and then negative 7 in for the z. So hit alpha again and hit 2 this time to get the z up there, hit enter, and negative 7 has been stored into the z. Now that's the way to do it separately, one at a time. Now there's one, there's another way in which we can do them all at once. And we'll do the same thing, we're going to hit 3, star, enter the x, and then now I'm going to hit the colon, which is alpha, the decimal, and then I'm going to store 2, into the y and separate this by a colon and then negative 7 into the z. Now I hit enter and it only shows me the last value that I've plugged in for the variables but these other two have been stored in there. So there's the two different ways you can do that either separately like I did above or all at once but you need to separate each one with a colon. So now all I need to do to figure out what each of these expressions are equal to is just plug them into my calculator. So let's do this first one. 3 parentheses, and then we have x plus 2z. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and so it comes out to be negative 33. So let's do this. Let's show some work here. Let's do 3, show the x that I plugged in there, plus 2, and then the z was negative 7. Close the parentheses there. So I'm showing my substitution, and then I'll just write down the answer, which was negative 33. So let's go ahead and do this next one. So I'm going to hit clear here. And when I hit clear, it does not take those values out of those variables. So I'm still good to go. So let's plug in x plus. Now remember, whenever you have a fraction, use parentheses around it. So I have 14 over z. Close my parentheses. x plus that fraction of 14 over z. Hit enter. And we have 1. So I'm going to show my work again. So we had 3 plus 14 over the z of negative 7, and it came out to be 1. I'm going to do one more with you. So on this one, we have a very large fraction. And so what I need to do is I need to make sure that my numerator sticks together. So I'm going to put parentheses around that whole numerator and also with my, deno my denominator. I need to put parentheses around that. So let's do this. Parentheses 4x plus 3y minus 6z. Close those parentheses. And now put a division sign for our fraction. And we have 4y, well, make sure you put your parentheses down to start this, 4y plus 2, and close the parentheses. Hit enter, and it comes out to be 6. So let's go back, show our work, and write down our answer. So we have 4 times 3 plus... 3 times 2 minus 6 times negative 7. And this is all over 
4 times 2 plus 2. And I forgot what it came out to. It came out to be 6. So let's write our answer down here. We'll put it right over here. It came out to be 6. So go ahead, finish lesson practice number one, and complete lesson practice two.